check. One, two. Check. One, two. One, two. How's that? Did what do you think about the sound? Yeah. Okay, yeah. probably a little bit, a little bit more. Check, check. Check. Check, check. Check, one, two. Might even take just a tad off, because I'm, I'm right here, and you can hear that. Let me, uh, let me have a seat here. Check one two. Yeah, well, might dial it down a little bit. Just a just a tad. Check, 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 check. Check, check.
Check.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of the Hamilton Town High School Class of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask for your attention to the following. Please keep in mind, this is a very special day for each family in attendance. We ask that you show courtesy to those around you by limiting your talking to a whisper throughout the ceremony. Also, we ask that you silence all cell phones and other electronic devices. And please applaud at appropriate times so that all speakers and graduate names can be clearly heard. Thank you in advance for observing this request. We hope that you enjoy this memorable evening as we celebrate our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise for the processional of Hamilton Township High School's Class of 2022.
My name is Kiara Holt, Senior Class Secretary. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance at this time. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. I would now like to introduce the principal of Hamilton Township High School, Dr. Josh Conley. I would like to take this time to thank the families and friends of the class of 2022 for joining us on this special evening. Thank you to the Hamilton Local School staff that helped coordinate graduation. And thank you to our guest of honor, Board of Education, and Hamilton Local School District administrators for being in attendance to celebrate with us. District administrators, guest of honor, and members of the Board of Education, please stand as you are called. Superintendent, Mr. Mark Tyler, and Hamilton Local School Administrative Team. City of Obets, Mayor, Mrs. Angie Kirk. Village of Lotbourne Mayor, Mrs. Christy Ward. Eastland Career Center Principal, Mr. Joey Gates. School Board President, Mr. Wally Obert. School Board Vice President, Mr. James Dahmer. And board members, Mr. Dave Schutte, Mrs. Amber Clark, and Mrs. Mary Isaac.
Megan Steele, school counselor at Hamilton Township High School, and I would like to take this opportunity to recognize those graduates from the class of 2022 for their outstanding accomplishments. These accomplishments are outlined in the program. The class of 2022 has become passionate about service. They understand that it requires selflessness, compassion, empathy, and understanding. In your program, you will find that 12 students have gone above and beyond the 30 hours of required service and have earned the Principal's Service Award by logging over 200 community service hours. Four students from the class of 2022 have truly dedicated themselves to community service by logging over 400 service hours, and by doing so, they have earned the Superintendent's Community Service Award. Thank you for your exceptional service to your school and your community. We would also like to recognize those students who attended Eastland Career Center, Fairfield Career Center, and or a satellite program. This year, more than four dozen of our Eastland Fairfield graduates have earned an industry credential, certification, or their professional license and are work ready. We would like to thank our partner teachers and administrators at Eastland Fairfield Career and Technical Schools who have worked with us to prepare these students for their careers. High school students can also gain state recognition for exceeding Ohio's graduation requirements through an honors diploma. To earn an honors diploma, students must challenge themselves by taking and succeeding at high-level coursework and in real-world experiences. Those students in this year's graduating class that have met the criteria prescribed by the state of Ohio to earn an academic honors diploma are marked in your program. You will also find that members of this year's graduating class are wearing various honor courts to represent their induction into various honor societies. These graduates have been inducted into National Honor Society, National French Honor Society, or National Technical Honor Society, as noted in the graduation program. In addition, we have students that are sporting purple cords. Those students have made their commitment to enlist in one of the five branches of the U.S. Armed Forces. We would also like to recognize the top 10 students of the class of 2022. We applaud the time and effort that they put into their academic studies to strive to be the best in their class. We want to congratulate them on this tremendous accomplishment. In the program, you will find more about each of our top 10 graduates. I would now like to introduce Ms. Emma Farrell, Senior Class President for the class of 2022. Hi everyone, I'm so happy I'm able to speak to you all today. I'd like to start off by congratulating you all. Graduating from high school is a rite of passage, so it is sometimes looked at as an expectation rather than a goal. People consider it something everyone will do, but I believe no matter how normal graduating high school is, it's such a huge accomplishment. We have all had to take different paths and fight different battles to get here. We have all pushed ourselves to be the best we can be I am extremely proud of us, and I'm proud I'm able to represent you all on this special day. After so many years of waiting for today, it's finally here. I can remember seeing my graduation year and thinking, oh, 2022 is so far away. It'll never come. Or I can't wait to leave this place. It's taking forever. The school days would drag on, and minutes in class would sometimes feel like hours. Don't get me wrong. I love being here. And I have so many good memories here, but I wanted to grow up so badly. However, now that I'm speaking to you all, I'm stuck thinking how fast the time went. I had no idea why my younger self was in such a rush to get older. Growing up is scary. There's so many choices that you have to make that will affect your life forever. It's hard to think that choices I make at 17 will affect my life forever. Sometimes I wish I knew that when I was younger. 
I wish I had just enjoyed everything and lived in the moment instead of waiting for time to pass. However, I don't think it's too late to do that. Honestly, this is the perfect time to change. It's the perfect time to live in the now. Yes, some people say high school years are the best years of your life, but I don't think that's necessarily true. You can choose to make the best out of every single day, every day of your life. Planning our future is important, and having goals for yourself is always good. But I think we should start thinking more in the now. Appreciate the time we have and the memories we can make. There's no rush to get older. Sitting and waiting for time to go will not make it go any faster. Now that we are graduating, there will be a lot of people and a lot of opinions telling us what we should be doing. Telling us what stage in life we should be at, telling us to go to a certain college or get a certain job or make a certain amount of money. But at the end of the day, these decisions are up to you. Don't feel pressured to do something that you think will make others happy. Do everything for yourself because at the end of the day, you are the only one that knows what's best for you. You have to live with yourself and what you've accomplished. No one else. And if those people are the people that should be in your life, they will accept your decisions. I've attended Hamilton Local Schools my whole school career, all 13 years of it. So I feel like I know this school and all of you pretty well. We may not have talked every day or been best friends, but I remember you all. I've been here to watch so many of you grow and blossom into the people you are today, and you all have seen the same from me. I'm going to miss so many things about being in high school, especially this fall when I won't be playing volleyball or going to football games and cheering on our team. I'm going to miss being in the same fit city as my family and friends and being able to see them every day. I will miss the teachers, counselors, principals, and everyone else that has worked so hard to get us where we are. But even though there's lots to miss, there's also a lot to look forward to. I'm excited for the future and seeing what it'll bring. I'm excited to see you all pursue your dreams and I'm excited to see what you all become. I just know it'll be amazing. So I hope you all too can look back upon our fond memories of high school, but also get excited for the future because the possibilities are truly endless. It's up to you all to make your life what you want it to be. Don't be scared to take risks. It'll all be worth it. With that being said, no matter what path in life you take, we are all connected. Graduating high school permanently bonds people together. Whether we spoke every day or just passed each other in the halls, everyone here today has impacted my life some way, whether we realized it or not. I hope I've impacted some of you as well. Again, congratulations to you all. Good luck in all your future adventures and keep pushing towards your goals, no matter how far they seem. Hi, I'm Kaylee Stevens, school counselor at Hamilton Township High School. This year's class speaker is Hamilton Township High School's salutatorian, Aaron Michelle Bernthold. Aaron holds the honor of graduating second in the class of 2022, and Aaron is the daughter of Heather Powell. While a student at Hamilton Township High School, Aaron has made the honor roll every year, and she was nominated by her teachers for October Senior of the Month. Erin was also a member of the high school's soccer and track and field teams, where she earned her varsity letter in both sports. She has participated in National Honor Society, Ohio Model United Nations, Student Equity Council, Environmental Club, and Pride Soccer Team. She has also volunteered her time as both a teacher and office aide, and has assisted with youth soccer camps and trainings. Erin would like to thank her mom, her brothers and sisters, her teachers and her friends, Hannah, Halea, and Kiara for helping her make it to this point in her life. Erin plans to attend The Ohio State University this fall, where she will major in astronomy and astrophysics. I am honored to present Hamilton Township High School's Class of 2022 salutatorian, Ms. Erin Bernthold. Hello. For the majority of you who don't know me, my name is Erin Bernfold. In all these years, I never once thought that I would be up here giving this speech to you all. I honestly thought about declining when I was asked by Ms. Stevens and Ms. Steele if I wanted to do it. I wasn't confident in my ability to present the words that you guys deserve to hear on your important day. However, when I told some of my closest friends, family, and teachers that I might be giving a speech at graduation, they were all so excited for me, saying things like, you're doing it, right? Or, I know you'll write something amazing and inspiring. So, now I'm here, in front of all of you, kind of, trusting that they were right. After all, we can be our own worst critic. And now, I'd like to thank some of those people. Firstly, I'd like to thank my family for always supporting me in my endeavors. 
especially my mom, who has come to every game, track meet, and performance that she could. For being there, I'll be forever grateful. Next, I would like to thank my best friends, Hannah Costello and Halei Woodson, for putting up with me these last couple of years, for spending time with me, giving me rides to places because I still don't have my license, and for always helping me get out of my comfort zone. When I'm with you guys, I feel the happiest, and I hope we'll always stay together no matter what. And lastly, I'd like to thank a teacher, someone I'm sure you all know due to a variety of reasons, including, but not limited to, his love of birds. Mr. Kensley, thank you for making every class period interesting and fun, giving good and bad advice, working hard to include every student and keeping a lighthearted atmosphere in the classroom. Trust me when I say that you and many other teachers have made us all better people because you truly care. Please don't feel that your efforts weren't worth it because of those who would rather stare at a small screen than listen to your corny jokes. They still have much to learn. Make sure that when you get the chance, graduates, to thank those who have helped you because there's no way we could have gotten through these past four years without them. When we first began high school, it was easy to say that graduation was such a long way off and that four years would be enough. We have all the time in the world to figure things out, and by the time we graduate, we'll be ready, ready to go through different paths, experience new things without the presence of our peers and teachers, and to begin building the life that we envision for ourselves. Now that we're finally here, it may feel as though we're not ready, but believe me when I say we are. We have been preparing for this since we first came to high school. We started off as annoying freshmen who had to use a map to find their way around the school, to somewhat less annoying seniors who walked their classes completely on autopilot, often forgetting that your advisory teacher has a lab on Thursdays, and now you have to do the walk of shame back downstairs. Now that we're here, those four years felt so short, like sand slipping through our fingers, impossible to hold on to, flowing whether we wanted to or not. We may have not stayed here for as long as we were expecting, but we have our memories to keep us company as we continue on with our lives. You may have not liked everyone in your grade or all of your teachers, but for those who have had a positive impact to you and helped you to take the steps that allowed you to become the person you are today, keep them in your heart. Let them strengthen your resolve to keep continuing onward to your future. Don't be dragged down by the belief that the time you spent here was the best you'll ever experience. As the saying goes, the best is yet to come. High school was only one step, and now that we have moved past it, there is a world plentiful with new and exciting opportunities waiting for us. Don't be afraid to take that step forward. Take your time and do what you can to make the most of what hasn't yet been, but may be. We're all rooting for you. Now that we're here, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye to all that we've known for the past four years. Goodbye to the teachers who took care of us and tried their best to understand. To the people we sat with during lunch and laughed with us. To the people who randomly complimented our outfit that one day. To the friends you're leaving behind to the feeling of playing on your home field, and the sound of the bell ringing signifying our victory. Goodbye to all the small things that made our day a good one. Though there's more I wish I could say, I have never been one to talk around people I don't know. Even now, as I'm presenting the speech, I'm probably shaking like a leaf. So, in order to make sure I don't completely fall over, I will start the closing sentences. There is just one thing that I haven't said, and it's something that I hope you all take to heart. You did well. I'm proud of you for making it this far. I hope you all live wonderful and fulfilling lives and that you do what you need to to find your own happiness. I probably won't see most of you ever again. So now that I'm here, it's time to say goodbye. Good evening. I'm T. Juan Raffer, Sergeant at Arms of the Class of 2022. It is my honor to introduce our commencement speaker. Tonight's speaker graduated from Sandusky High School in 2007 earned his bachelor's degree in integrated social studies from the Ohio State University in 2012, and recently earned his master's degree in education leadership from the American College of Education. During his teaching career at Hamilton, he has taught eighth grade history, coached track and field, and is currently the diversity, equity, and inclusion coordinator at the high school. In his free time, he enjoys playing with his two children, reading comics, sci-fi novels, and history books, playing tennis with his wife, and board games with his friends. He also loves building positive relationships with students at Hamilton. And I know he's made a positive impact on my life, and he continues to make positive impacts on others. 
He also loves building positive relationships with the students at Hamilton. And I know he's made a positive impact on my life and probably each of our lives at one point or another. I'm both excited and proud to introduce Mr. Daniel McDuffie and to hear the inspirational message he has for us when we leave here tonight. And we look forward to the future with you. Class of 2022. Today is a moment that you and your loved ones have been working towards for 18 years. This is a moment that culminates a lifetime of working, learning, and growing your skills and knowledge to help you succeed in the greater world around you. However, I'm here to tell you that we have not prepared you enough. This is not to say that we have not worked extremely hard to help you get to this point. We most certainly have. But the world in front of you is one in which we did not expect or truly understand. The challenges that we face in this world are some that we have not seen in decades, some in centuries, and some never before seen in human history. Despite our limited abilities to prepare you for these trials ahead, I have unlimited hope you will meet these challenges and teach older generations lessons that we have long needed and long ignored. These are hard and uncomfortable truths that you will have to face in the coming stages in your life. Systemic oppression, that of racism, sexism, classism, homophobia, transphobia, are all issues this class will confront. A world in which ignorance, fear, and hate consume so many of us is the world that you will be responsible for helping to change. Authoritarian attacks on democracy, the press, and the teaching of an honest and inclusive history are all issues that this class will confront. A world in which misinformation and tribalism have corrupted our abilities to understand what true democracy and true community means is a world that you will be responsible for helping to change. The climate crisis and its ever-growing destruction of our planet is an issue you will have to confront. A world in which governments and corporations plunder our planet for resources and wealth at the expense of those who live on it is the world that you will be responsible for helping to change. I say these truths to you not to instill fear or dread, but to give clarity on the mission laid out before you. These problems cannot be solved with just good ideas and good intentions. They can be solved by organizing, collaborating, and taking action to challenge the systems and power that are currently causing us harm. Despite these obstacles, my optimism for the future is abundant, and it's because of you. The conversations I've had and the actions I've witnessed make me believe there is a better path you will all lead us on. I see kindness, compassion, and empathy in this group of young people on a daily basis. And I see a righteous frustration and determination to make things better. This is a time for you to take this community that you have built at HTHS and use it to build other communities with the same sense of compassion, empathy, and determination. Competition and individualism are not answers when collaboration and community are what create solutions. I want to conclude these thoughts with a thank you. Thank you, class of 2022, for everything you have given this young and inexperienced educator. When you all first came into my life, I naively believed I had all the answers. You quickly and bluntly told me how wrong I was. I remember one day a group of you in class telling me that my unit packets were too long and too much work. I playfully ignored the grievance, but decided to ask other, other classes their thoughts on the matter. Everyone in the following classes loudly and passionately agreed with the assessment of the first class. So with your help, we changed how we did things. We gave everyone options on how they wanted to engage in information presented and made our class more fluid. You all changed my perspective on teaching and education. Because you all advocated for your educational well-being, I learned that I should never be the center of a classroom. Thank you for teaching me that lesson. I will never forget the conversations we have had about so many different topics. Anime, comics, movies, books, sports, history, and the burdens that life has handed all of us. You all allowed me to be a part of your lives, and I'm forever grateful. My life is given purpose because of you all. So again, thank you. I'll end with a quote from my freshman English teacher, Mr. Sturdivant, 
who once told me that life isn't fair, but that doesn't relieve us from our duty to try and make it fair. So Hamilton Township, class of 2022, go out and make this world better, more just, and more fair. Congratulations, and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to begin by welcoming everybody to the commencement ceremony or honoring the class of 2022. Uh, graduates, it feels like moments ago that I met you when you were in the first grade and I came to the elementary school to be your principal. I want to tell you, it's been an honor and a privilege to watch you grow and mature over the years and turn into the fine young men and women that you've become. I'm very, very proud of you. I think you have incredibly bright futures. And I think I speak for everyone here when I say that we're extremely excited to see your next steps. Uh, to all of our friends and family that we have here this evening, I'm especially grateful to have all of you here today. Uh, throughout the course of the pandemic, you know, honestly, there were times during the school year where I didn't know what tonight's ceremony would look like. And to be able to do it in front of an audience is very, very special. I want to tell you that I've had the opportunity to speak with the graduates here very recently, and every one of them knows and understands that they could not be here this evening without the love and support that all of you have given them throughout the years. So at this time, I'm going to give our graduates the opportunity to stand and say thank you for everything that you've done to help them get to this special evening. Graduates, please. Graduates, excellent job. And that brings me to, honestly, the favorite part of my job, the opportunity to tell you from me to you, you're ready. You are absolutely ready to take your next step in this world. And I know that with complete certainty because I've been amongst you and I've seen it with my own eyes since you were in the first grade. You're prepared. And I want you to go out and take your next step in this world with pride and with confidence and know in your heart that you are ready to be there. Class of 2022 on behalf of the Board of Education, all of the faculty, the Hamilton Local Schools, and myself, I want to wish you a sincere congratulations on your accomplishment here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much. Go Rangers. Superintendent Tyler, Hamilton Local Board of Education, and honored guests, Hamilton Township High School and the Hamilton Local School District certify that the class of 2022 has completed the course of study prescribed by the state of Ohio and approved by the Hamilton Local Board of Education and is therefore entitled to receive this diploma. Again, we are proud of all of our graduates and want each to be recognized for this great accomplishment. So please applaud at appropriate times so all graduate names can be clearly heard. The following will be receiving diplomas from Superintendent Tyler. Caleb Collins. Matthew Foster Skernis. Anthony McDonald. Matthew on the screen actually looks really good. Gavin Rose. Congrats. 
Ava Stamper. Alexander Tedrick. Sage Wally. Jaden Wooten. The following will be receiving diplomas from Mrs. Acevedo. Brooklyn Handy. Alonzo Horn. T1 Radford. The following will be receiving diplomas from Mr. Anderson. Josiah Dean. Cadence Gallucci. Tylan Johnson. Madeline Keller. Brandon Mathias. <laughs> Keith McCarty. <laughs> Mark Nunez. Salvador Taylor. McKenna Thomas. The following will be receiving diplomas from Ms. Appis. Kaylin Cordell. Kyra Gabbert. Maya Spencer.
The following will be receiving diplomas from Mr. Blake. John Jones. John Lockhart. Aiden Moore. DeAndre Tyree. Stark Walters Lopez. The following will be receiving diplomas from Mr. Carity. Elijah Boggs. Graduating fourth in the class, Paige Dalton. <laughs> class valedictorian, Zoe Knott. Following will be receiving diplomas from Miss Shute. Shelby Dibel. Graduating ninth in the class, Emma Farrell. The following will be receiving their diploma from Mr. Cody. Graduating seventh in the class, Kiara Holt. The following will be receiving their diploma from Mr. Dettori. Carmen Greaser. The following will be receiving their diploma from Mrs. Dryling. Grace Green. Following will be receiving their diplomas from Mr. Dugan. Nevea Essig. Maya Reeves. The following will be receiving their diploma from Mrs. Dugan. Lauren Serakaitis. <laughs> the 
The following will be receiving their diploma from Mr. Eichhorn. Amy Cockrell. The following will be receiving their diplomas from Mrs. Enyart. Olivia Blevins. Lily Burke. Serenity Marie Devlin. <laughs> Elizabeth Gonzaga. Alyssa Mullins. May Click. The following will be receiving their diplomas from Mr. Farsing. Solea Andal. Sydney Armstrong. Miranda Cowell. <laughs> Abby Cruz. <laughs> Brianna Jackson. Jasmine Peterman. The following will be receiving their diploma from Mr. Fulton. Preston McCain. The following will be receiving their diploma from Mr. Yates. Logan Hoosier. The following will be receiving their diplomas from Mrs. Gibson. Sean Emerson. <laughs> Ashton Thomas.
The following will be receiving their diplomas from Ms. Harder. Liz Karen. Haley Wally. The following will be receiving their diplomas from Mrs. Heaton. Trayton Ball. Caleb Longwell. Jonna Lutz. The following will be receiving their diplomas from Mrs. Hepner. Sophie Hurley. Kayla Hines. The following will be receiving their diploma from Mr. Hopkins. Daryl Van Sickle. The following will be receiving their diploma from Mr. Hoyt. Elizabeth Birchwell. How you been? The following will be receiving their diplomas from Mr. Jackson. Dylan Dotson. Tanea Edmonds. The following will be receiving their diplomas from Mr. Kasperzak. Graduating fifth in the class, Riley Gibbs. Madison Graves. Morgan Grog. Kaylin Harmon. <laughs> 
Marissa Moe. Chelsea Murray. The following will receive diplomas from Mrs. Coker. Victoria Jones. Kennedy Smith. <laughs> Alicia Webster. Following will receive diplomas from Mr. Corbel. Christopher Castle. Hunter Combs. Carson Coulter. Damian Duff. William Holland. Nisa Jassim. <laughs> the following will receive diplomas from Mr. Kinsley. Class salutatorian, Aaron Bernthold. Ayani Bonte. <laughs> Kensley Eckleberry. Graduating eighth in the class, Ethan Hampton. Trenton Jones. Alicia Wanchi. <laughs> Madison Reeves.
Ashton Smith. Haley Snell. Aubrey Thomas. Matthew Virgin. The following will receive a diploma from Mrs. Lang. Edie Mills. The following will receive diplomas from Mrs. Linkhorn. Iodele Awe. Vanessa Hardgrove. Mary Malone. <laughs> Daryl Pfeiffer. Brittany Tackett. <laughs> Halea Woodson. Following will receive diplomas from Mr. Lincoln Hoker. Tegan Rydell. <laughs> Olivia Simpkins. Graduating 10th in the class, Hannah Tabor. When you get to my name, it's E. Mari, not a Mari. Uh, oh, they say her last name too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Deanna Nawaba. Deanna Nawaba. Oh, my name is so nice. The following will re receive diplomas from Mrs. Longbreak. Imari Clark. <laughs> Jayana Nwabo.
The following will receive diplomas from Mr. Lowe. Seth Heron. <laughs> Mallory Muma. Following will receive diplomas from Mr. Loy. <laughs> Stephen Bassnett. <laughs> Anthony Bowling. Carlito Brooks. Evan Fleming. Jacob Fleming. Alex Puckett. Jordan Stepp. Gage Truax. Following will receive a diploma from Mrs. Maddox. Parker Holland. You got this last name? The following will receive diplomas from Mr. Mavromatis. Megan Addington. Joshua Thurman. Following will receive diplomas from Mr. McDuffie. <laughs> Awa Balo. Erica Davis.
Halapchanya Palucci. Kaylee Vance. The following will receive a diploma from Mrs. McKnight. Bryson Six. Following will receive a diploma from Mrs. McNamee. <laughs> Hannah Costello. Following will receive diplomas from Mrs. McSkimmon. Amaria Lucas. Ian Clemens. Brandon Robinson. Following will receive diplomas from Mr. O'Brien. Luke Sparks. Abby Young. Following will receive a diploma from Mr. O'Hearn. Wade Isaacs. The following will receive diplomas from Mr. O'Reilly. Brandon Hunter. <laughs> Gary Morris. <laughs> Felix Pruitt. Owen Spencer. The following will receive diplomas from Mrs. Quickert.
Alea Kamen. Trinity McGinnis. The following will re receive a diploma from Mr. Roth. Harley Howell. The following will receive diplomas from Mrs. Rucker. Tomas Banda. Mark Sampson. The following will receive diplomas from Mrs. Snezek. Julia Livermore Woodgeard. Antonia Padilla. The following will receive a diploma from Miss Summers. Kaylee Dillon. Following will receive a diploma from Mrs. Sprankle. Amanda Ross. The following will receive a diploma from Mrs. Steele. Shalena Archer. <laughs> the following will receive diplomas from Mrs. Stevens. Madison McConaughey. Trenton O'Neill. Elizabeth Pina. Avery Rodney. Damaya Sanford. <laughs> Tori Tate.
Kalina Thong. Graduating sixth in the class, Maria Torres Alanis. Michaela Wellman. Eamon Whitson. The following received diplomas from Mr. Sutherland. Matthew Brooker. Hector Cassettes. Enrique Carrion Renteria. The following will receive a diploma from Mrs. Tollison. Keegan Foreman. The following will receive diplomas from Mr. Trisler. Tyler Bornheim. <laughs> Seth Conrad. Jace Peters. The following will receive a diploma from Mr. Varney. Corey Black. Following will receive diplomas from Mr. Wallace. Liam Dean. Devin Van Langen. Tierra Wooden. Congrats, buddy. The following will receive diplomas from Mrs. Wills. Quentin Gatwood. Landon Huffman. Yeah, 
Emily Lozier. Graduating third in her class, Ella Nichols. Jackson Roy. Following will receive a diploma from Mr. Woods. Jenna Keen. The following will receive their diploma from Mrs. Yost. Emily Johnson. Please rise and join us in the singing of our alma mater. Also, please remain standing at your seats during the recessional until all graduates have exited the field. Thank you. Seniors, it is my pleasure to declare you graduates of Hamilton Township High School. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the 2022 graduation of Hamilton Township High School. Those of you with family members graduating, you can meet them out in the parking lot at this time. Please be very careful as you exit the fortress. And as always, have a safe drive home. We'll see you next year.